look at that i went out in the garage to, and it's been below zero and do you see all the ice formed uh, oh i'm not sure how these are going to turn out they are partially frozen there's ice I'm not doing any more until it gets a little warmer huh it's the first time i ever seen that i just wanted to show you that here's here is after step one. Five days in step one are my favorites. I'm rinsing them outside right now. It's really cold. It's 12 degrees, so I'm going to take them in. Here's after step one in the water with a flashlight on. I'm just going to briefly go through these and get them going. And that beautiful jasper. I believe it's jasper. Ooh, some red's popping out now. Awesome. That's my probably favorite one. <laughs> There's porphyry, and it did shrink, but not a whole lot. It's doing pretty good. So I only left them in step one for five days. That's pretty. This is from Lake Michigan. Looks really good. Here's that one. Oh yeah, that one's turning out good. I'm thinking it's some kind of granite, but and the green is real light epidote, I believe. See, and there's a little darker spot back there. Here's a piece of unikite. The green going through it is epidote. And that smoothed over really nice. I'm not sure. It's of quartz. It almost looks like a marble. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. Here we have that really pretty jasper. It's shrunk a little. Not too bad, though. Looking really good. Look at that one. This one shrunk a lot. Um, here's this one. I said look like mahogany obsidian. I still cannot remember what they call these in Michigan. It's crazy that I can't remember it and I can't find it online. <laughs> this is a, a type of jasper. It shrunk a little. Not real bad. This is one I was worried about. I might actually just pull this one out because I don't want to lose any more of this one. It did shrink. It's just really cool. I just don't want to lose any more. Uh, Unikite, the green is epidote going through it. it shrunk, but not a real lot, but it did. Looking really pretty. Just, I love the colors. This one I thought was a fossil. Wasn't a hundred percent sure, but that sure looks like fossil pieces right there. It's really smooth. Piece of jasper. Pretty. Ooh, that side got kind of plain on me. Jeez, where's that piece of jasper? That's a pretty one. And a possibly poppy. I never really found Poppy Jasper, so I don't really know what I'm looking for, but look at that. If anybody sees this and they know what Poppy Jasper, I guess I could look it up. It just looks like Poppy Jasper on that side. Eh, this probably was something really thrilling to me three years ago. Real tiny little unicate here. A more solid piece of epidote with a little bit of another color in it. I don't know. It is dark and I am out by my rock garden. It's full of snow and the snow is melting because today it's raining. Okay, I dumped them out. I'm going to get some water out of my bucket. Let's see how they're doing. Right. Not too bad. I'm not sure how these are going to turn out. They are partially frozen. Well, believe it or not, they actually dumped out of the barrel. I thought I'd have to bring them in the house and warm it up. But it's really caked and like frozen in the barrel. And I got the lid right there and that's like all weird and frozen. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to stop doing rocks. Uh doing rocks for a while here until it warms up a bit. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's unthawing or not. Oh, look at all the little pieces of ice. I'm going to have to redo these. Yep, that's the first time that happened to me. It is exceptionally cold this year. So, they might not have even have got polished, you know. They might have been just <laughs> barely tumbling in there. Oh, man. That is a bummer. All that is, all that stuff is frozen. It's frozen polish. Okay. I gotta bring them in, get them warmed up, and uh, we'll check them out then. They might have to go back in. It's only nine degrees out here right now. <laughs> cold, cold here in Upper Michigan. If you tumble your rocks in a northern climate where your tumblers liquid could freeze, uh, just bring them in. Don't do it. Just don't do it. You can see what happened to mine. Like this is just smoky quartz. It should be super shiny. Not so fractury looking. Yeah, so I'll probably um, have to redo all these in the spring. Maybe want to shine anyway because I can see there's a lot of hematite in it. Um, I have a really hard time getting that to shine, but yeah, everything, everything's going to have to be redone. Here we go with the Galaxy Stone. Um, it shrunk, I can tell you that. And that one I'm not going to redo because look at that little piece of that egg. It fell out of that part right there. Yeah. I'm not going to redo it because it is a third to a half the size it was before it began. Um, this one just really turned out to be a mess. This comes from the Black Rocks in um, Marquette, Michigan. Um, they, they just never did shine, even when it was properly working and not freezing. This one here didn't shine. This one's going to have to be redone. It's all like fractured cracks. This is reminding me of what happened to me. I will tell you the story. I had a um, vibratory tumbler that I got off of like the Facebook I sell thing. It, it ruined and beat all my rocks. I came back, it was leaking and all the liquidy grit was gone and all my rocks were just beating on each other five pounds of rocks and yeah it, it destroyed them all yeah i never did a video on it i just you know basically cried and threw them away and that was the end of that so don't buy used ones either um especially the vibratory ones um yeah that was the biggest mistake i ever made it was one of those too good to be true things um i do love this rock right here but i'm disappointed by all the little fractures so I think because it froze and there was frozen ice in it there was no polish tumbling on them they were just basically beating on each other in there so yeah I'm sharing this because I want to warn you if you're doing it in your garage I did this last winter it never froze I don't know what happened but if you think there's a chance that your barrels could freeze don't do it don't do it um yeah look at that's the only one that really has a shine but yet it is beat up at the same time so yeah lesson learned but anyway um uh, like i said lesson learned i'll never do it again no tumbling in january and february <laughs> all right well thanks a lot for watching and yeah there's nothing thrilling to see here but I wanted to share this with you so you don't make the same mistake I did. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.